thanks for joining us for a sneak peek of the Crestview campus. This is the entrance to our building here under the portico at the Crestview campus, which is located at Central Baptist Church in Crestview, Florida. We're going to go inside and take a look at a kindergarten classroom and at an elementary classroom just to give you an idea of what we're doing here at the Crestview campus. This campus is kindergarten through fifth grade and of course we would love for you to take a tour so that we can show you in person both our facilities and our classrooms and give you a better idea of exactly what you can expect if you're interested in this campus. So come on inside. All right, so this is a sneak peek of our Crestview Elementary, and this is a sample classroom for you. This is actually a fifth grade classroom here, and again, we do kindergarten through fifth grade at the Crestview campus, located at Central Baptist Church, right in the middle of Crestview. And um, this is the Bible that we give your student when they come to elementary school. So starting in first grade, we'll give them an English standard version of God's Word, and it's either blue or black, and they keep it with them from year to year. We just move it from classroom to classroom um, every summer, and then they can take it home with them at the end of fifth grade. This allows everybody to be on the same page. And of course, everything we teach has a biblical worldview here at Rocky Bay Christian School. This is, is an example of some of the curriculum that we're using. Again, most of our curriculum is Bob Jones University Press, and we do use Abeka for our penmanship, which again, we teach from kindergarten through fifth grade. A fifth grader is going to spend about an hour and a half on language arts every day, an hour and a half on math, and about an hour and a half on history and science. Language arts is going to include grammar, reading, reading comprehension, composition, and spelling. And math is going to be going over a previous concept, teaching a new concept, making sure the students have that new concept, and doing a little bit of work to solidify that new concept. There will be uh, math homework probably by the time you're in fifth grade, as well as studying for history and science tests and quizzes. And every student has a Bible verse every week here at Rocky Bay Christian School, along with the spelling list starting in about first or second grade. We use Saxon math starting in about fourth grade. So we switch from Bob Jones University Press to Saxon, and we use Saxon all the way through uh, as far as you're gonna go at Rocky Calculus II or even further. Um, and I want to mention that we don't use any common core math here at Rocky Bay Christian School, so you should be able to help your students as they continue through learning math um, and possibly exceeding your math knowledge. Um, history and science are either one semester of each or we alternate every other week, uh, but we do try to complete both curriculums. With the Bob Jones University Press curriculum, uh, we may be talking about Benjamin Franklin in history and electricity in science, so those two things go together, and so you get a lot of depth and learning, and then those words that you learned about in those two lessons will show up on your spelling list, and we may write a composition in language arts about how it felt to be holding onto the kite with the key. So a lot of our curriculum and the way that we teach um, just creates depth and creates a broadness in learning, um, which we think you'll really appreciate and your student will as well. Every student in elementary school receives PE every day as well as recess every day. We do try to eat lunch outside every day. Students at the Crestview campus receive art with our dedicated art teacher. They receive computer training um, where we teach Microsoft Office Suite, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Publisher at age-appropriate levels as well as typing skills. They receive, of course, PE and uh, recess every day, as well as chapel once a week, and um, just a lot of fun extracurriculars going on here at Rocky. We also do a lot of hands-on science experiments, so we get that kinesthetic learning built into everything that you're doing. We use a different discipline for different sections of our school. Uh, we have a kindergarten discipline system, an elementary discipline system, and an academy discipline system. So here in Crestview Elementary, we use what we call a foot, sis, foot system. We use Galatians 5.16, which says, walk in the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. And so our students are trying to walk in honoring God with everything that they do every day. We use something called a foot here. It doesn't look like a foot, but it's a way of us charting and tracking their awesome behavior and some also behavior that might need to be corrected. Walk in the Spirit is an acrostic that we use here at our school. This is one thing that hasn't changed in 50 years because we love it so much and it works so well. Each one of these has a Bible verse associated with it. And again, we're using God's Word to help our students understand expectations, both from God's perspective and for us as a school. Students all day long will be receiving red marks on their foot. So you might get a red K. 
Your student might have been kind to another student. The teacher noticed and said, wow, good job. That's so great, Colin. You were, you were kind to your, your classmate. So please put a red K on your foot. And so Colin gets to take personal responsibility for his awesomeness. Put a red mark right here, that's a K. And at the end of the day, of course, this is gonna come home to you. So you'll be able to say, wow, Colin, you got a red K. Tell me how you were kind today. Uh, because we want you to be able to reinforce these awesome godly character traits at home as well. In addition, we have behaviors that might need to be corrected. So again, talking without permission after having a warning is one of the things that we might want to correct. And I personally had a student who just had way too many words. And so she would often get a black T. So she would mark that on her paper as well. The teacher would say, um, I'm so sorry, but you're talking again without permission. Let's put a black T on your foot. So again, this would come home at the end of the day and you can have a different conversation with your child, however you want to handle that, about maybe a behavior that needs some addressing or some correction or just some attention. Um, and then you should have way more red marks than you do black marks. Um, if a student does get five black marks in a day or four of the same, they get to visit the principal. But again, most of the time here, we are rewarding positive godly character traits and we're providing that opportunity for you to do that at home as well. So that's our discipline system for the elementary school. We hope that you're interested in the Crestview campus. Of course, this is just a brief sneak peek of what we're doing here. Please take the time to schedule a tour so that I can talk to you in person, meet you, and learn about your student and about your family and help you understand how we can make Rocky a first choice for you and also make it affordable. Thanks so much.